Hey Grace Church, hope you're enjoying the Christmas kindness adventure. It's nearly Christmas, hope you're excited. Wanted to share with you a pass it on, passing on the kindness. A couple of a uh, bit more adventurous ideas today. One is to do with what's over my shoulder right here, picking up after your dog. We've got a number of dog walkers in Grace Church, and so this one's for you and for me. One of the things I've often felt really cross with and really annoyed with is when other people don't pick up after their dogs. And I've felt challenged, I've challenged myself a couple of times just in the last week or so, to when I see someone, when someone hasn't picked up after a dog, and I've got a bag in my pocket, which most of us who've got dogs normally do, to pick up so that they, so that that's out of the way for other people. It's the challenging one. Um, often you kind of need to wash your hands because you've got your own dog with you as well. And so that's just a little kind of out there challenge and adventure. Um, for others of us, I've been thinking as well a lot about car parking. Car parking can be, can be a challenge around our area. Sometimes we can wish that someone had got a car parking ticket because of how they parked their car. Well, something I did recently, I actually did it with a police car that was parked kind of right up on the curb. We put a note under their windscreen wiper just to encourage them, just to say thank you for the really difficult job that you do. We really appreciate you. We really value you. I'm wondering if we, Grace Church, should, Grace Church <coughs> could drop off and leave some alternative parking tickets that just share a message of love and encouragement and grace and kindness. So anyway, they're a little bit more adventurous, a little bit more out there, but let's go for it and this Advent season in sharing the kindness of God with the world around us. Cheers.